Good evening. Welcome, everybody. I'm working on my live stream. Just want to say thank you to everyone who has joined my group on The Abundant Healer. I am so happy to have you. You guys are my solid support base. Um, so one of the things that I am doing as I'm finalizing, you know, putting all the ribbons and the bells and whistles into this amazing training program that I'm putting together for therapists and healers and really for anybody who wants to be creative and getting their business going is coming up with how you want to conceive of your abundance and specifically how you want to make manifest money, right? And money is all about numbers. So really, you want to think about money as, um, I think of it as a thought form, really, but it is um, a way in which the universe can show its appreciation for the value of what you are dishing out, right? So in the Abundant Healer, what we do is we work on raising your vibration, okay? And then once you raise your vibration, people will show up, right? There's lots of people who have great, fabulous, good vibes, but they don't have any money. And the reason is they've got that part down. The next part is creating a funnel system, right? Creating um, a series of systems, organization in place for that money to come through, right? You need to let people know how they can give that energy back to you. So one of the amazing things that I heard from the femtrepreneur, her name is Maria Cause, and she's you know, she had developed eight online companies by the time she was 25. She's a multi-million dollar um, successful businesswoman, online businesswoman. You know, basically she said that once she realized that money had to have meaning and it also had to have a place to go, it was like a light bulb came on in my head, you know. And so we want to think about not only... Um, you know, how much money I want to have, but you also want to think about how do I want to spend it? Where is it going to go? What meaning does it have for me? And then start operating from that place, right? If you start worrying about how much do I have or how much I want to gain, you're actually operating from a place of scarcity, okay? So in my program, The Abundant Healer, there are two things that we two ways that in which we approach that that's from the inside out and then we work from the outside in okay so we're not sacrificing one for the other this is all about making manifest your dreams so we recently ran um, a really fun five-day challenge for unblocking your power and unleashing your financial flow by activating the root chakra and one of the activities we did in there was so exciting and I felt like had such a great response that I wanted to do it live with you guys. So I have created a new money map and we'll go through this exercise together. Now there's two kinds of business plans that you can come up with. There's the traditional business plan which will most likely be a gazillion pages and it's very nitpicky and it gets into all the details and those can be useful. But I find that um, it's better to do like there's sort of startup uh, business plans and or board canvas is specifically the one I'm thinking of. But basically, it's kind of like a similar concept, but a looser structure. So there's really two things that you want to think of as a therapist and a healer. OK, there's two things that are going to help you become big. Right. If you want to be big, you want to expand your practice, you want to really be dynamic in your profession, you have to be visible. Okay, you have to be visible and you have to diversify. There's just no way around it. You're not going to make a ton of money just seeing one-to-one -one individual clients all day. You can raise your rates and you can make a decent living, but you're not going to make like boy band money. <laughs> and you know what? It's not shameful to make boy band money. Like there's there's two kinds of ways that you can make money. You can make money um, doing something that is in service, 
in alignment with your highest purpose and in service to others. Or you can also make money the way which is sort of like, you know, working hard for the for the money, clawing and scraping your way up the ladder and believing that because I've worked so hard, I'm so honorable and I deserve this. And that's really more about a conversation with yourself about worthiness and deservedness. And that's sacral blockages. And in the abundant healer, we not only work on that thought process, but we also work on the embodied energetic blockages that are connected with that, just as an aside. But basically, you want to try to shift the way you even think about money, okay? And if and if you want to like skyrocket your career, if you want to be bigger than you could imagine, then you need to stop boxing yourself into the paradigms that already exist. And for therapists and healers, often it's meeting with clients individually in a room, you know, with each other for an hour and charging a certain fee for that. Now, I absolutely believe that that informs the work that you do. It's really important to have that interaction and, and, and maintain that clinical space that I have that myself in a fabulous studio in midtown Manhattan. But that can't be all that you do. And maybe you're thinking, oh, well, I don't have like any other special, like that's what I do, that's who I am. I don't have any other special thing, whatever. You have skills and you have talent and you have knowledge. And we are living in a digital age in which those are marketable items. Those are products that you can sell. And as I do my money map, I'm gonna show you a little bit about that, okay? So for the sake of ease, um, basically what I did is I started off with a goal. So I want to make, let's say, a hundred thousand um, dollars in a year. So what we have on top here, so this is revenue stream. So this is where all the money is going to come from. And down here, this is what I'm going to call clients or subscribers. Okay. Now remember I mentioned visibility. So that means you are going to be utilizing the internet. You're going to be utilizing the internet and you're going to get damn comfortable with seeing your face on it and you're going to get comfortable with using social media and social and, and marketing online marketing okay and now a lot of people just tune out when you say that fine you say no to social media and marketing you're saying no to yourself honestly so a lot of times the the step that therapists and healers skip because they feel like it's a false face or they feel like it's some sort of fake persona is they don't create that online presence, okay? And that is essential to really boosting your business. So but getting back to the money maps, money has to have meaning, money has to have a place to go. So let's look at, we know how much we want to make. So now we're gonna take a look at how that is broken down. So for me, I just came up with 100,000 because it's just an easier number to deal with. You can put in whatever number you think is realistic for you or not realistic. Um, and so basically, so I put that number up here as well. That's how much I wanna make. And now I'm taking a look at all of my revenue streams. Okay, so this is where my money's coming in. So first, um, I teach. <laughs> I'll tell you, teaching doesn't pay so much, but I love it, it's fun, it feeds my soul, and inevitably, it always informs everything else that I do. Then I actually have one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, it's a lot when you just spell it all out like that. I have six large courses on my online school, which in creating this money map, I realize I am underutilizing and have basically just let them sit there in a graveyard. <laughs> so what I'm going to be doing is creating funnel systems and a schedule of how I'm going to launch them one by one over the next year. But this is Embracing the Feminine, which is a 10-week course on how to tap into your feminine essence for women who are interested in female empowerment and are learning how to um, work with women's depression and anxiety. That's a content-rich course that you receive over the course of, dripped over the course of 10 weeks. Guided meditations, creative arts therapies, tutorials, um, research and written articles, discussions between myself and another um, dance and dance therapist and yoga, yogic, yogic, yoga teacher, 
Ramona McCurdy, um, you know, it's just sitting there. I haven't created a funnel for it. That's, that's a low hanging fruit is what they say. It's something that I could easily rebrand and put out there. So what I would like to do is I'm going to say, I want to make mm, at least 5,000 with that. Okay. In the next year. Then I have um, Beyond the Breakup. So Beyond the Breakup is another like 10 week course on attachment and love and bonding and attachment styles. Now on my YouTube channel, I have almost 2000, I have, no, I shouldn't say that. I have almost 1500 followers. And that's all just from basically 10 videos about attachment. So if there's that kind of popularity going on with that subject matter here. Why am I not getting, why am I not seeing that revenue here? Okay, so there's a disconnect. I'm not, I'm not pairing my subscribers with my product. Okay, so that's something that I know could be good if I can tap into how to share it correctly. Okay, so I'm going to say that's, I'm going to say that's 5K. That might be more, more but I'm going to say 5K for now. Then I have complicated grief, um, attachment and addictions, the intersections, another eight to 10 week course that I have that's just sitting there, you know? So again, 5k, like I could totally be marketing that. Why am I not doing that? Then, um, healing through the chakras going on right now. Okay. Join it. It's amazing. Healing through the chakras that has brought in a couple K and I think I'm, again, I'd like to raise it to five. Now the abundant healer is the training program. This is going to be the 90 day program to skyrocket your career. It is the most intensive program that I will have. It will include one-to-one -one coaching sessions. It will include group coaching sessions. It will include 90 days of solid content and instruction, um, articles, exercises, guided meditations, video lectures, um, marketing savvy, training in Facebook ads, training in YouTube 101, um, how to be visible, right? All of that stuff. That one is going to be a high ticket item, and I'm hoping to bring in 43000 from that. I'm also training you in using singing bowls. I'm training you in the entire chakra system, and I'm also helping you completely reset your mindset into an abundant mindset, okay? So that's my high ticket item. Actually, I put that inside the bubble. So then I also have my art therapy test prep course. This was actually my highest ticket item in the past year. I brought in 8,000. I'm going to raise that because I'm actually going to improve the content and I'm going to be doing a webinar series where I do live, um, live groups with people who want to take that. So we will make that one. I'm going to make it 15. This may not all add up to 100 because I'm not really doing the math as we go, but you see how it all comes together. Live workshops, you really don't make much from live workshops, to be honest with you. It's really, live workshops are really more about list building um, and getting your face out there and hoping that word of mouth spreads and informing the work that you do. Um, let's say 2K at most. And then when I put, I just put here continuing it. So I also give a lot of live webinars throughout the month um, for continuing education. These incidentally are mostly all worth continuing education as well, but I separate them because these are higher ticket items and these are usually low cost items. And it's honestly, I really do that to just build my list to funnel people into these. So that I don't make as much, but I'm, I'll say I'd like to make 2K per month. 2K per month, so that's about 24K. And then one-to-ones, these are my private clients. I'll be honest with you, I don't have that many private clients. That's not where my revenue streams come in. Um, and it takes a lot of time to create the content for these things. So I actually see private clients two days out of the week. Sometimes not even, sometimes it's like a day and a half. And a lot of, and one of those days is in person, one of those days is remote. So last week I saw clients in Portugal, the Netherlands, the UK, all right? So, and that, those were referrals from my YouTube 
channel where I talk about attachment. So that's skills and knowledge base, right? I just wrapped it up into, I, that was a mistake. I just used YouTube because my computer crashed and I was like, oh my gosh, I better put my videos on YouTube so I don't lose them. And I was so not YouTube savvy that I didn't know how to privatize them or make them unlisted. And so I was just like, whatever, no one's gonna watch my stuff. I kid you not, six months later, I have 1,500 followers from the 10 videos I threw up there because I didn't want them to die in my crashed computer. And, <laughs> and I'm like, and now, and then people like contact me because they want like coaching sessions based on my YouTube channel. They'll like message me on Facebook, like my private Facebook. I'm like, how did you find me on Facebook? I certainly didn't put the link on YouTube. <laughs> you know, like they find you. So you know, I mean, you never know how it's gonna fall in your lap and you do have knowledge and skills. Utilize it, utilize it. Maybe, you want, maybe you're an art therapist and there's a particular form of art that you really like. I had did a webinar once where there was a woman who um, at, Oh, I did a webinar on the embracing the feminine, right? We talked about the heroine's journey and women's dep depression, and anxiety, and it's a model of development that's specific to women. And she's like, you know, well, you could really combine like fabric textiles with this or quilting textiles with this or doll making with this, you know, women's textiles combined with this theme of women's, you know, issues. And I was like, oh, that would be great. That would be a fantastic online course. Why not? Right? So coming back to our money map, with my individual clients, they are essential, they're necessary, they're constantly informing me about what I need to be doing in all these other areas, okay? So, um, but I honestly, that's not the majority of where my money comes from. And I don't think that I would want it to be because for the amount of time it takes up, right? And, and the return, it's, it's just, that's not scalable. Okay, online stuff, selling your skills and your knowledge base online, scalable, okay? So we're shifting the paradigm here. There is a bit of your personal disposition, right? So if you're here in this group and you're considering what it is that I'm suggesting and you're considering getting your face out there and you're thinking maybe I could be increasingly visible, I do wanna expand my practice, but you're feeling like the eh kind of thing, you just wanna ask yourself, what's the eh about? Like, what's that, what's that feeling about? What's stopping you? Is it that it doesn't resonate with you on an internal level? Is it that you're shy about getting your face out there? Is it that you think money is shameful? Is it that you don't wanna leave your community behind? Is it that, um, you know, well, you're a human service worker and human service workers aren't supposed to get paid for what they do because that means that you're immoral? Is that really true? I mean, of anybody who should be getting paid more for what they do, it's human service workers. Yeah. yeah. So you gotta explore that stuff. And that's the stuff that we explore in the Abundant Healer. Okay, so how much do I make? Like two times, like 2,000 a month. So 2K, 24K. Okay, I haven't done all the math, but basically, more or less, you kind of get where, where we're going with this. Examine your revenue streams, diversify, do different things, okay? And then the second part is how are you going to reach out to your audience? How are you going to be visible? And then how are you gonna funnel them into your revenue streams, okay? So I'm not gonna get into that just now because this video is getting a little long, but this is like an exercise that we would be going through in my signature online course, The Abundant Healer, 90 Days to Skyrocket Your Career, right? This is a signature program for therapists and healers to, number one, I train you, okay? I train you in certain kinds of energetic healing practices, specifically through the framework of the chakra system. I train you on singing bowls. I train you with the pendulum. Um, we go through the use of chakra stones. We go through all of the psychodynamic and psychological aspects of those things. We talk about it in the context of clinical work. 
So we also train you on mindset, law of attraction, quantum physics. Um, I do the money maps with you. We make a business plan. Okay. We go through your ideal client scenario. I work with you on your marketing copy. We develop your attractive character, right? We, we cultivate your online presence. And then the second 90 days, basically what I do is I supervise you while you start bringing that into practice, right? We have one-to-one -one coaching calls. We have group coaching calls. We talk about how's it going? How are you implementing it? Keeping you on track, helping you show up every day, right? And then I continue to expand your knowledge base. You start working, using these, these things in practice with your clients, right? You're responsible for um, writing a case example. And then the last month together, you and I together, we collaborative, collaboratively come up with a special project, something you've been wanting to work on, something that will launch you into the online stratosphere, all right, and get you out there and give you an alternative revenue stream. Right. And I show you how all to do that. It's like a mentorship and training program. All right. And I take you through the whole uh, marketing process. So that is the abundant healer. And if you are interested, leave me a comment in the notes below. I'll reach out to you um, and we can see where it goes from there. But if I piqued your interest, I hope you stay tuned to this channel. I'll be dropping more tidbits and special advice like that in this group. So, so glad to have you here. Here's one of the perks of being here. Hope you have a great night.